play it through and um, and then we discuss after it, okay? Okay, uh, but I'm still learning. Yeah, it's, we, we are always learning those pieces, you know, it's full life almost. <laughs> It's, uh, uh, it's maybe we should uh, start practicing uh, on the, um, from the beginning with some ideas because I see that you are on the way of, of learning all the, all the process and we can discuss while you are playing on each, on each point, yeah? uh, we will have more time for, for, for learning things, uh, I think. Uh, uh, because yeah, it's, uh, how long you started, when did you start this piece? Because it's a very huge piece, so... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so maybe um, I would like to include one more thing in your, uh, in your approach to the piece. Because uh, um, in sense of music, uh, you go in the right way, you feel, you feel the lightness and, uh, and, uh, and the shape of the, of the piece, the sound is all going in the right direction. But the one thing you don't do is um, breathing in very, very important places. Uh, 
Uh, it's just mechanization of some uh, main phrase. Uh, and that will be very important because in list it simplifies a lot of things. Uh, if we connect too many things, uh, it starts to be very difficult. Um, and that's why I think it's important that we add, we try to add it from, uh, from that point uh, as soon as possible, actually. When you have difficult pieces like that, we, uh, a, a big part of our job is to try to make it simple, to understand how we can make it as simple as possible. Because obviously it is very difficult, but still, if we, uh, if we don't think right, um, we, it may be really impossible. But if you think that it should be simple, uh, and you try to find what makes things simple, then it's playable. You, you understand? So uh, that's the reason why I think it's important. So let's play again from the beginning and let's try to find all the arguments that we can uh, find in the music to make things simple. Okay, so uh, play again from the beginning. You have this a capriccio, uh, which is written. So you can be a little bit more free with the time. Yes, try to uh, to be more flexible. Long notes can be a little long, then you can be a bit faster. You can slow down and breathe more. Yeah, we will try to, to find more this uh, type of element. Try accelerate here. And, then, and now a little, not fast, yeah. Yeah, very yeah, good. Here you really well played well this, this, uh, this place chromatic. Uh, and here you see you, you played with more also this uh, small articulation from here to here. You, 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 you heard this better and it organized the way more. The first time you played, you, you lost it. Um, so try again from, from here. good yeah you see this is a typical place as we uh, spoke for for Brahms this uh, you have really and many everything is chromatic yes all the voices all the voices are chromatic and it's very important to listen everything if you feel and hear everything then it will be very convenient place. But if you just follow only one line, uh, it's very risky. It may, you may get lost um, with other voices. So very important, always listen all the all the notes in such places. Yeah. You have pay also a little more attention to the lowest voice. Uh, try again, yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, just a, a, a sim uh, an exercise just to check uh, everything is uh, is fine. You just try to exaggerate each voice uh, in a row. For example, if I play the voices upstairs, it will be like this. Then, then the second voice. Hmm. Sorry. Then third. And then the last one. Oh, sorry, it's not easy. 
<laughs> yeah, you, so you can scan all the voices like this. Uh, um, and if you can do this, it's, uh, it really means that you heard everything. <laughs> okay? Uh, okay, so let's go on. Uh, here. And, and yeah, here, here free, you can play uh, as you wish. Yeah, for example, here also you see when, when we have the, um, this, uh, L, okay, I will take from here, it, it, obviously, uh, the, the highest space is between the two first notes, yeah. So you can a little bit organize the upper voice. Having, taking in, in account into account that there is a big space. You understand? So take a little time between the first and the second note. Or you understand? Between, between what? Sorry. Between first and second note. That like that it will be. We need a little, to, to feel convenient, we need a little time between the two notes. If you try to play all regular, it will not be so easy and not so nice. Yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, here, yeah. can you play? Can you play the left hand here? And just here where your fifth finger, how moving the fifth finger, yeah? Just wait, uh, um, this is the one, two, three, four, fourth line, last bar. Yeah, um, maybe, maybe it's not um, not from here. Um, f can you play, for example, when you when you have a, uh, you, you see where it is uh, on her page hundred seventy seven? Yes, uh, and then uh, you have right hand, left hand on a um, G key. Yes? Yes, this from here, yes. So very important, yeah, to have a play well the first the first note of each three. Uh, with very, very big confidence, yeah. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's a little bit question of gesture also, look, um, the movement. Um, you play a little bit only left and right, I think, play a little light here. It's very important that you fall on each fifth finger. You understand? Yeah, yeah, but don't don't um, don't come regroup the hand, the the hand uh, while you are on the air. Yeah, don't don't close your hand uh, when you are uh, on the air. It stay, let it open. And yeah, 
not not too loud. Not too loud this one. The the some very light. Put all. Let's say all the priority is for the fifth finger. The the first finger is uh, very very light. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is that uh, you know it's it's very it's very far. So um, we should as soon as you can return, just just do it. Yeah, that's reason why the sum should be very very light, because if you play, then it's very it's very very far. Yes. In, in um, the ideal will be this, yeah. Maybe can can you try to play without the second note like this? Without the, uh, the second note, you see, I don't play this just like this. Uh, one and three. One, three, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, all right, the, uh, this is uh, uh, more convenient. And then you will try to find doing like this. You will find where it's easier to play the second note. Yes, that's good. And now try to play with note inside. You understand the principle. You, you understand the idea why to to practice like this, right? Mm. Yeah, because when you when you define the position from the the lower notes and the upper notes, uh, then you, um, you will find the best place where to place the second finger. Because sometimes you start the second finger is leading you uh, in a wrong direction, and then you have to uh, take it back for the first finger. So. Better let's take the extremes and then when we feel the best, the easiest way for the extreme, then we put the knot in the way, in the middle. Okay? Um, so let's maybe continue after after that. When starts the, the, the double notes? You can play from here. I feel I feel that you you understand it well musically, but do you know where you where you phrase in those double notes? Is it something um, clear or not completely? For example, if you had to stay um, to to. You see what I did. Yeah, yeah, you see that if I do a stop in another note, it's not so uh, not so right. Um, so feel a little bit rest here, and it will make a bit uh, more simple. Voila. Yes, you can phrase it a little bit more. Right? Yeah, the, the thing is... Uh, you, you see how uh, between this and this? 
do you play? You play what kind of fingering? You play what is written, in fact, right? What is written on the score? Okay. Okay. Well, okay, this is different because it uh, depends on the size of the hand. We can have some different um, fingerings uh, here. But in any case, don't rush this. Uh, on the, you understand? This is a third beat, a two first note. Yes. If you don't press this one, it will be easy. Okay, all, all right. Okay, let's play both hands together. Good. Yes, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, uh, so here I always see that there is something uh, you take it with the with the left hand, yeah. Uh, when you have, uh, you don't play with the right hand, yeah? because I see in your score that you have. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, you know what? What is? Um, uh, what is uh, maybe not the best? Uh, because you, play, if I understand you. Play like this, right? Yeah, and, and this is not easy because if you play like this, then you have to return, and it's not so simple. I will, if you cannot play five to one, try with five to one. Yeah, I think because it, it, it lets you in the same direction. Here you can don't try to choose, but I, I think it's better. Yeah, if you can play five to one, it would be better. Yeah, this this is what I was thinking also. We don't have actually quite a lot of situation also. possibilities um, you can also have you can also have five one and two one can have either 2 1 either 4 2 uh, it depends how what do you prefer yeah it's possible both if you are used with 4 2 just keep 4 2 uh, for the Two last ones you can do it when there is the third um it's it can you can keep four to it's fine Are you 
two, three. Mm. Yes, that I don't like so much. Try four, two. Because why I don't like so much is because it, okay, it's possible, but it makes a little tension here, uh, which is maybe not the best uh, choice. Okay, when you have this passage, uh, is it already, did you really decide well uh, which finger ring you want for the right hand? Or it is it is not yet completely sure? No problem with you. <laughs> uh, um, for the time being, what, uh, what are you putting? Uh, Four to three of play play. Okay, you play what is written. Okay. Mm, yeah, there's so many possibilities. And okay, that can be. It's fine. And after the next one. Yeah, so you, 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 you keep the same uh, 4, 2, 3, yes? Yeah. Okay, then, then, it's, then it's fine. Okay, so can you uh, play maybe this place? Just in here. Okay, one more. Yeah, and and don't don't lose also um, where is, where are the beats? One, two, three. Mm. Yes, good. Uh, that you can repeat. Uh, okay, but now I have seen another fingering. I have seen one, two, I think. Uh, play. Yeah, yeah. So uh, on uh, here, just to it. Uh, here on this on, on these two notes, it seems that you put one and two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so. I guess this is why sometimes it's not very clear because you just in the uh, previous bar you played four two three, yes, and now you play for one two and it's almost the same place. So uh, uh, if you put at the in the in the previous bar four two three, then put also four two three here. You understand because you have twice, you have almost twice the same place with two different finger rings. That's the reason why you get lost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand the reason, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so it, this is just to be, uh, to, to be convincing, I mean, to have very coherent style of, of finger rings. Uh, so if you, you, I don't mind which one you choose, but if you choose one, then keep it for the other part, yeah? Okay. Uh, otherwise, you know, for the brain, it's very difficult to remember. <laughs> All right, so this is just uh, something to have in mind, yes? Uh, so we can continue from here. Not too fast. Yeah, okay, of course, now, now that you are practicing, no, don't go too fast. Uh,
Don't, don't, don't go faster than this. What happens here? Here, uh, uh, yes. Uh, um, what, the, what is the fingering for the last bar? Here. Okay, I, I maybe try one three, one four, one five, one three, one four. O only three, two, three, four, five uh, on the top. It always the sum and down, down. Oh. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think it will be stronger because we need more power here. So I guess it would be better. And then you, if like this, you don't open the hand. So the hand, it's easy to have this one at the end. All right. Okay. Yeah, and if you remember, um, uh, for tra practicing double notes, uh, uh, don't stick. You should have very light uh, thumb, so you can practice like this. Um, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I just repeat twice the term. Uh, just the term. The third one will stay. Yeah. Uh, hey, look. Uh, I, I just, just. Um, yes. Yes, exactly. This is uh, one of the of the best way of practicing double notes. Yeah, you just repeat twice the 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 one which is downstairs. You you can practice all double notes like this. <laughs> okay, but but sorry, I I don't understand uh, the the goal. Uh, the, uh, the all of this this makes you uh, more reactive thumb. Otherwise, otherwise it stays too slow and uh, uh, it uh, it slows you down. It's um, you know when you uh, it, the other other fingers will change very fast, but he has to repeat. And if he is too long pressed in the key, he, he will just like you know have troubles to go further. Yeah. So I, I see from the score. Uh, Do you understand that here is the middle of the play? I mean, the section which is repeating. Yes. You should really know well <laughs> where it repeats. Good. Yeah, it sounds. It, it should be. It should be fine. Yeah. Uh, if the finger rings also be very careful in such places, you need to find a very very right finger ring uh, for that because there is a repeat also. So don't uh, don't change things. Yes. Okay. So we can we can continue. Okay, so uh, here it's it's good. Uh, of course, with this seven seven six six, yes, you you uh, you have to be. Uh, it's you know, you don't need to be very very precise in the sevens, yeah. Uh, but the thing is like that that really feel well uh, the movement on the left hand because uh, you should not have something like this yes uh, so 
you play whatever you want on the right hand, but just feel it. Yeah, I think it's a bit, you know, uh, when, even when you play your left hand alone, it's a bit like this. Uh, it really fill the space between the first and second. The, the first note is the longest one. Yes, better, much better. Yeah, yeah. And so try this with the um, with the after that with the decoration. As we mentioned, yeah, you know, you can find a little more difference between seven where it goes a bit faster and six where it goes a bit slower. Uh, it will also help you uh, memorize where is what. So they are a little bit too close uh, in the sense of um, uh, of, mu of music. So uh, you mix sometimes one or two. <laughs> okay, continue. Can you play? Uh, can you play just the top of the page? Can you play just again this? Yeah, yeah. There is um, in the both places also before. There is not very clear when the how the right hand is going with the left one. Can you? Yeah. Okay. So let me sing again a little bit. Uh, one, two. Uh, so where do you see the the top of this arpeggio? Because you see, why why you have something not convenient here? It's because you have here you have a, a top for the right hand, and then it goes down. But for the left hand, uh, it's uh, it's here. So, uh, which one you want to have as a top, right hand or left hand? Uh, uh, something to decide. Uh, it's um, it's a question you have to <laughs> to solve. Uh, just wait, uh, I'm looking one information. Um, 
if you want to have uh, here uh, the, the culmination here uh, uh, or to the F. So this is actually you can choose one or the another, or other, but uh, but you should decide because uh, otherwise you don't feel how it goes. Maybe maybe choose the this one uh, on the, on the right, and then you will have lighter also here right. It will be a bit softer as it is, you know, with the tie here. It will be a little um, lighter A flat. Okay. Yeah. So take the top uh, from the right hand. Okay. Yes, and then you go down. Good. Okay. Yes, you see, this is. It looks like a small detail, but it's very important because otherwise, if you don't take clear decision, um, you will always be a little bit confused. Uh, and and when you play, it will happen some stories and maybe some kind of accident eventually uh, in such places. Okay. And so that's reason why we should decide things. <laughs> okay. So let's continue. So th th this is the, the uh, you know this is a a exactly the same you had with uh, with the chord. So try to have the same feeling of position and of course the same uh, fingering is possible. And you see why I told you before. Uh, look where is the bigger jump. You see, the bigger jump is between E and, and, and C, all right? Yeah. You see, so if you, if you remember, we made this little break um, before, yes? Um, so it's uh, also because uh, uh, if, if you wanted to have all in one, then it will be a big jump, it's dangerous. But if you phrase with this idea, then it's easier. Okay. Yes. The same, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And here, of course, when you play such plays, uh, uh, play like chords. Yeah. It's it's. Um, be careful with the legato, uh, and you would feel that it's like this. No, it's better. It, you should really think. Yes. In fact, you should um, really feel this. Sorry, sorry, let's, um, yeah, there is. Try to play just the, the, the thirds. Can you try this? Yes. So, if I had uh, to play it, I, I will think like this. Uh, uh, I will play a little bit this one, then this two one, and this like this. Sorry. You see, I will have a little one, these two next, and then. Yeah, yeah, it's just how to organize uh, your way of thinking. 
Here, after that you can have a little break. Okay, if you want, uh, like the, almost the three to, you know, in a, together, and then you can think three and three. Yes, something in that direction, yes. Yeah, and try without the top notes, try like this. Uh, 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 without, yeah, the, uh, forget your fifth finger for the time, just, just one and two. Yes, good. And with a little more uh, flexible wrist. Okay, I'll play just down that you can see. Yeah. For example, and this um, on this arpeggio, which fingering you put? One three five, one three five, or one two? One three five. Okay, one three five. Then that's, that's fine. Okay. So uh, what I want to point is that uh, such places um, you all you have to find how to sing. Uh, it is not. It's not all in a row. Uh, you should really find where you can have a little breathing. You don't get out of the keyboard, but how you separate some sections of uh, of of the um, uh, of this passage. And if you find the right section sections, you will see that it's pretty easy. Uh, so really, it makes things much 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 more. Okay, we know it's difficult. Whatever. But still, if you play, uh, oh, it will be impossible. Yeah. So yes. Uh, right. Um, uh, so maybe maybe we can from um, we can start still from here and uh, but slowly. Yes. Yeah, I, I can also tell you one small thing about your arpeggios. I see, I see sometimes when you play arpeggio, you um, you have a little bit, uh, you you play you go too much to the right. These they are they are arpeggios very soft. Yeah, uh, it's not arpeggio. You know, with this feeling like yeah, just yeah, be careful because. If you if you have to go to the right, it's fine. But if you had to go to the left part of the keyboard, that will be more dangerous. Yeah. So play soft arpeggio, but uh, don't let you too much um, taken by the arpeggio. Okay. So let, let's do it again. I'm disturbing you, but uh, 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 what is the figuring for the left hand? Okay. And two, three, and one, two after that, yeah. And, and when you go down, uh, one, two, three, one, okay. Three, one, two, one. Okay, so is. Wait. 
Okay, for, uh, there is a little um, uh, thing for me which is not very convincing. Uh, if with these uh, finger rings you have, uh, I think it's more convenient when you go up to have five to one and three in directly one two. Because you see, when you go down, you have the sum on on a G, so it, it's much easier to put it back on the A flat than on a C. So try this fingering five to one, three one two. Try to one, no five to one, and then a third finger on the on the C. Yes, and then three one two. Yes, yes, and you see that when you go down, it, then the sum is much closer. D don't change the fingering for getting down. Yeah. Yes. You understand? So uh, also small. So you see small change, uh, but it makes things. It makes life easier. Okay. Um, so let's con. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, we are ready for a huge work, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go on a little bit. Uh, for example, can you play from here? small thing uh, on the left hand um, you you can have uh, I, I we spoke about two one or four two this is also available but whatever you choose uh, don't turn too much the the, 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 the yes the, the hand like this it's better stay uh, quite in front because anyone well, you need to return to the left side, yes? So you, you will lose quite a lot of time if you if you do like this. Yes? Uh, so in whatever, even if you choose uh, if you choose to one, it's maybe easier to, to understand. Um, now, so what here? Uh, can you play again with the right hand? Can you uh, can you play just the right hand alone? Sure about the fingering? Because I'm not convinced. So much choice. Yeah, because uh, I I see sometimes uh, that you put the, the first finger and not the right place. Yeah, here I stop. Stop. Uh, uh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Sorry, sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there is something I don't like to the end. Uh, never mind. No, it's not the same. More. It's pretty that I don't have my score. Yeah, actually, this I think this what is written is quite fine. So if you try to put what is on the score, oh. it looks okay.
And then one, two, three, four to, at the end. Yeah, and one, two, three, four, five, yes. Yes, yes, that will be, I think, the best, uh, the best fingering because it goes, uh, it starts to be pretty fast here, um, so you cannot put o o so many first finger, mainly to to toward the end. Okay, M maybe let's look a little bit the third. Yeah. Okay. Right. You you feel you feel fine with uh, with the, this um, this place. Yes. Okay. I, I um, also one, uh, one one five. <laughs> one five to where? Uh, from the here from here one five. Uh, two four. One yes. One four, one three, one okay. five again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a good, it's a good fingering. Very good fingering. It it works. Um, what else? And and when you climb, when you go from here. Yeah, okay, it's, it looks it looks that it's uh, convenient for you, yes? yes. Okay, that's the, that's great because you have to be quite easy with the right hand and uh, to be <laughs> for for the double notes on the left hand also. So maybe you can play. Yeah. Uh, just wait and see. to have it uh, well phrased yes without rushing mm -hmm. again yeah good that's uh, that's nice continue just left hand I, I think I, I advise you to, to have a, a lot of practicing separate hands uh, and, and really define uh, all the separate objects. Yeah, For the time being, you don't need to play through uh, and in the speed of um, uh, in a real tempo. Yeah. Just settle very, very carefully everything and then you will stick everything together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any places uh, that you really uh, find inconvenient in this place, in this piece? Yes, uh, I have uh, two. Uh, yeah, tell tell me. Uh, in one one eight six. One eight six. Uh, wait, wait, yes, I am there. I am. Yeah. Uh, uh, this one. This one, yeah? Okay, so this is... Uh, I, I guess this is just question of fingering. Uh, which fingering are you using? Uh, just uh, there is a A flat, yeah. Okay. Uh, one, one, three, uh, two, four, and then uh, one, two, 
Oh, 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 this is strange. Just uh, oh no, no, that would not be. That would not work. Uh, that will not work like this. Okay, I'm thinking about. Really, a question of it's only a question of fingering. Just let me find some several versions. So, the uh, so I may have to study it. Yeah, and let's let just let's um, finish with this place uh, because there is a, a little challenge. Uh, I think we need to uh, to use as much possible one, three, two, four one, three, with four. jumps. So you need really to know where is one, three going, and. Uh, and then you can, yeah, even if it's a little less legato. Like something like this. Yeah, and then three, four, uh, yes. Because we saw, for me. Yeah, um, I, I think this is only question of fingering. That, that's, that's really something uh, to, 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 to find out. There is two things where you will, what I would suggest you is uh, try with the sequence starting on E and G. Maybe you do also, you, you can also start from uh, C and E. Try to have the copy from C and E. It can maybe help, uh, but I need to solve myself the problem to be sure of what I am telling now. Uh, it's uh, this is really something to study, but for sure it is uh, it is in this direction. You know, it's uh, it's like enigma. I like very much pieces by list for this reason. Sometimes you you have a problem and you need to find how it works. When you find, you can play it without problem. <laughs> Almost. So um, it's a job. You did a long part of it already. So uh, no, you have to keep the way. <laughs> yeah, actually, I want to master this piece. <laughs> That's why. I... Uh, yeah, it's uh, it takes some time. Yes, but play slowly and uh, try to be very efficient in what you find. Don't don't go too fast to both hands together in a tempo and everything. Just really settle things very very carefully. Yes, otherwise it's difficult to go to the end. Okay. And the main thing, it should sound very easy. <laughs> okay, so good luck. So, congratulations.